Understanding your diagnostic results. Once the results of your specimen have been analyzed, you'll receive a comprehensive diagnostic report that outlines bacteria and fungi detected, any resistances detected, and antibiotic recommendations. Results Sheet At the top of page 1, you will find information relating to the sample to include patient name, specimen type, and when the test was completed. Below, you'll find Level 1 results and Level 2 results. Level 1 results Level 1 results are a quantitative PCR panel. If you have submitted a swab sample, the PCR panel tells you the total bacteria load in a low, medium, or high scale. If you have submitted tissue or fluid, the PCR panel will state the numerical value of the bacteria, such as 10 to the 5th. Level 1 will conduct a rapid screen of 8 bacterial species and 1 fungal species, Candida albicans. Level 1 PCR will also detect bacteria resistance genes for several antibiotics. These include MRSA, MECA positive, Van A for vancomycin resistant enterococci. In addition, we can detect the gene resistance for the following classes of antibiotics tetracycline, carbapenemase, beta lactamase, aminoglycoside, macrolide. Level 2 is the comprehensive identification using next generation sequencing. By using next-generation sequencing, we're able to sequence over 25,000 microbial species. Level 2 Results Our Level 2 testing identifies genetic signatures and the estimated percentage of bacteria and fungal organisms present in the specimen. All detected bacteria are listed first in order of prominence. To the right of each bacteria, you can review the percentage detected. Our Level 2 results have a 2% cutoff, meaning that any microbes that make up less than 2% of a Level 2 results panel will not be shown. If, for example, MEC A and Staphylococcus aureus has been reported in Level 1, but in Level 2 results Staph aureus is not listed, it is because the Staph aureus made up less than 2% of the DNA identified in the Level 2 and it is not reported. If detected, fungi is listed next. Antibiotics Recommendation Sheet Page 2 of your diagnostic results are the antibiotics recommendations. The top column lists the identified bacteria and fungi in the specimen by percentage of DNA and if the microbes are gram-negative, positive, aerobic, anaerobic, or facultative anaerobes. On the far left is the list of antibiotics recommended. The antibiotic recommendations are based on clinical studies where the antibiotic has been shown to be effective against that specific species. The column after the antibiotic is titled Note. Here we indicate with a number 1 if that class of antibiotic is resistant. Treatment recommendations are listed in order of IV, PO, or topical for personalized treatment solutions. Many antibiotics classified as IV only can still be used in customized topical compounds. Please note, the list of antibiotics is not all-inclusive. It is only there to provide you with options. When the bacterial species is one that can be grown in traditional culture, for example, E. coli, you should take into consideration local resistance patterns. These local resistance patterns can be obtained from your hospital antibiogram. Remember, this is only applicable to the 25 to 30 species that are reported in culture. It's time for superior diagnostics, targeted treatment options, and better outcomes. It's time for Microgen Diagnostics. Visit us at microgendx.com.